morning you guys <laughs> this is not my best look as you can probably tell i just woke up but yeah wilder's still sleeping so i figured i would try to like do a face mask or something because my face is breaking out as you guys can tell really really bad right now and of course right before i deliver i'm breaking out really bad but i figure i'm not gonna have much time to do stuff like this after the new baby is born so i'm going to do a face mask and wait for wilder to get up i don't know what my hair is doing i'm so tired you guys i've been having contractions like all night long every single night and not enough for me to like go get checked out but like it's definitely uncomfortable and painful my ribs are killing me so i'm gonna try to pamper myself for a minute oh man i can't believe wilder is even still sleeping to let me do this yep still sleeping but i'm just gonna put some toner on my face i've been using witch hazel i normally use um i think i've talked about this before actually yesterday maybe i'm losing my mind I normally use like the sea breeze in the blue. It's like a cheap kind from Walmart that I really, really, really love. But this is more natural for pregnancy, so. And it's not bad. I mean, I like it. Girl, we gotta get this face together. Oh, I need to do my eyebrows so bad too. I look like I haven't rested in like a month, which I haven't. So, I'm going to be using the Indian Healing Clay Mask. This is like the only mask that I use whenever I do masks. I normally don't get around to doing them, but whenever I do, I use this. And I swear, if I use this like once a week, my acne will clear up like completely. But I don't have time for that most of the time. And then I just mix it with some pure apple cider vinegar. And I normally have like this little thing that I use to apply it, but go figure i have lost that thingy to apply it okay so i'm gonna get really innovative and use the end of this razor to mix up my mask not that any of you guys are probably interested but this is what it looks like and i'm just going to pour oh that's a lot i'm just going to pour a little bit in here and then i think you can do it in like actual measurements but i'm too lazy so i just do it like the consistency that i like oh my gosh i'm out of breath and then i just mix it up with my innovative uh mixer and if it's too liquidy like it looks like it's too liquidy i put too much apple cider vinegar like that i'll just add more mask no big deal yeah and that's about how i like it right there don't come at me in the comments below i know i'm applying this with the end of my razor i realize that i think it's pretty um nifty if you ask me okay so there's that i have a lot left over oh no i hate that i hate when you have an itch but yeah totally recommend this if anyone is looking for a good face mask and it's fairly cheap and lasts forever you guys can you believe that I only have six more days until delivery and I can't, I can't believe it. I really can't. It's going by so quickly. I've been so emotional. You guys know if you watch these vlogs. That's really why I wanted to start daily vlogging is because I don't want to forget these memories. And even though it's going to be a roller coaster, I just... I'm so thankful that I'm able to capture all these moments, you know? I look so scary. Okay, so right now I am going through all of the postpartum essentials. So like my breast pump, um, I need to make like a little diaper caddy thingy to carry around the house, which I am going to use this for that purpose. And I'm going to put some diapers in there and some other stuff. So I figured I would show you guys what I'm going to be doing. Right here, I have a box of stuff that I've just kind of thrown in there that I know that I'm going to want or maybe want for postpartum. And so I'm just kind of going through everything to see what I should take out. And I definitely am taking out this. This is the Baby Catan carrier that I loved so much with Wilder. And I really hope that it fits me after pregnancy because this is a size small. 
if not i'll get a bigger size because i love this carrier so much so i need to get that out and this is my pump this i believe is the medela pump in style it's um like the portable one maybe if i take my hair down i'll look a little less um scary okay so for my diaper caddy i am going to put in some newborn diapers obviously and i'm just going to shove these right here ooh, ooh, my dear. okay and then i'm going to put some nipple pads in here more breast pads Okay. and then I got these let me know if any of you guys have used this so I purchased this because I was trying to relactate with Wilder after like six months postpartum um, it didn't work very well I was barely producing anything but I was taking these and I don't know if it really helped me or not because like I said I wasn't really producing that much so let me know if any of you guys have used these this is the honest company postnatal I'm a really good youtuber honest company postnatal lactation plus pills let me know if these work i'm just gonna put them in there for now and then i'm gonna put an extra swaddle blanket just a muslin swaddle blanket in there and what else should i put in there i should probably put like wipes and stuff but i really don't feel like getting up because i thought i had everything right here but yeah that's super exciting i really hope this helps my face because i don't want to be all pimple faced when I give birth even though I will be so I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish okay on a real note though I am extremely a wreck like you may not be able to see it and you guys are probably like duh like I can see it all over you but I am a wreck I'm a wreck because I can't wait six more days I want this baby now and at the same time I know Wilder's little world is about to change so much so we're trying to like spend as much time with him as possible make him feel as special as possible i don't know i just can't see i'm a wreck in my opinion i think the best gift that you can give your child is a sibling i i am an only child so i know what it's like to grow up without a sibling because growing up i i didn't have anyone there with me to you know tell all my secrets to or to help me in my struggles whenever I couldn't ask for help from anyone else or I didn't have like a lifelong best friend and I feel like that's what we're giving Wilder is a best friend and I am so so I'm so so excited and I I literally cannot wait to meet this baby it's already so loved i know that wilder is probably going to have a difficult time at first i'm not blind to that fact i know that it's going to be a change for him but i know that they're going to be best friends and i know that it's going to be the best thing in the world and especially them being so close in age i'm so excited for that only be 15 months apart but the initial like transitioning into all of this is very difficult for me and maybe it'll be completely different once a new baby is here if you're sitting down watching this right now and you think that i'm just a wreck i am and i just i'm reflecting on everything and i feel like it's just replaying in my head over and over and over again just life and how grateful we are we may not have everything in this world because we definitely don't, but just what we've built as a family and just these last 15 months with Wilder have been the best months of my life and I can't wait to do it all over again with this mystery baby. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm overfilled with emotions, obviously, as you guys can tell. Now I'm just going to get this off of my face. <sighs> my face is so freaking red. Wow, I look scary. I need to sit. I'm having contractions so bad. My belly is so tight. 
I am home. You feel good. So how are you feeling, babe? Mm, I don't feel good. What can I do? I'm having contractions. Well, what can I do to make you feel better? So we just got a call that her C-section is getting rescheduled. For same day. Same day, but it's gonna be instead of four o'clock in the morning. No. Or it's gonna be seven in the morning. Instead of seven, it's gonna be 12. Right? Yeah. Seven, 12. Instead of seven, we're going I to 12. I guess it works out a little better, so we'll get a little bit more sleep. Yeah, we get to sleep in. I can have a regular work day, and we can sleep in. We'll not sleep in. But well, I mean, we can't sleep in, but we can sleep till later than we would sleep if we was getting up all 30. Six days away for the baby. I know, your hands are cold. Gold. Gold fingers. Look at the gold fingers. Now, that little tantrum before, that was because he was sticking his hands in the Yeti cup with ice in it and water. So his hands got really cold. <laughs> Go get that car. I don't want that chicken nugget. <laughs> I don't want the chicken nugget, you crazy. I don't want the chicken nugget. What you doing, dude? And sit for you for nine nights. Mm -hmm. So we're about to put Wilder to bed. Just made his bottle. Yeah. We hate this part of the night. We don't want him. Well, I say we hate. We love and we hate this part of the night. We, He's just so cute and cuddly at this time, but it sucks putting him to bed. I can't believe he took a Six days of until we have another child, and he's not going to be an only child anymore. Mm -mm. Mommy loves you, dude. He loves it. No. Okay, so Wilder is now off to bed. I look really good. I just got out of the shower, Garrick and I. He's getting me some ice. But, yeah, I haven't really been vlogging much today because I've just been having contractions on and off basically all day. And I've just been super uncomfortable and honestly just really emotional because, I don't know, I'm just trying to soak up every last minute with wilder we're so excited for this new baby but if you guys watch my videos then you know that it is it is really emotional for me and probably for most parents that are transitioning to two kids it just it's there's a lot of overwhelming feelings i'm really craving like a oreo mcflurry right now really really bad i don't know why i'm breaking out so bad all of a sudden it's just i don't know it sucks. Thank Mitch you. Hazel for Hazel Fox. <laughs> it's not my last name anymore. I know, it's daily. I do use it daily. Mm -hmm. Wow, you put a generous amount on here. Yeah, I didn't want to be so silly tired. What do you think the baby's going to be? What do I think the baby's going to be? A boy or a girl? It's got to be a boy. You think it's a boy? Yeah, because we have hard floors in there. We can't have a girl. <laughs> You've been saying this whole time you think it's a girl. Somebody messaged me and said that we should start calling you guys hazelnuts. <laughs> comment below what you guys think about that or if you have any other suggestions. I don't know. Comment below what do you guys think. Do you like hazelnuts? I kind of like hazelnuts. Hazelnuts. I don't know. Maybe that's just because like that person went out of their way to think of that and DM me and no definitely appreciate it's very clever but yeah anyways guys I think that's all for today's video if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you have not already click, click that, that little notification, notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you guys tomorrow we'll see you tomorrow do ooh, ooh, ooh.